Hi, I'm Scott Allwood. Welcome to Recap. Do not change the video. Today I'm watching an episode of the show A Pup Named Scooby-Doo. It's an animated program from 1988 and it's the Scooby-Doo gang, but they're all children. This is season one, episode six, The Babysitter from Beyond. If we open up, Shaggy's explaining that it's a stormy night, so the reception's a little funky. Wave your tail around just a little bit more. <laughs> Voila! The reception's fixed. A movie preview starts to show that they're gonna see later that evening. It's a horror movie. This is the movie guaranteed to scare your socks off. Like I don't wear socks. This humor is right up my alley. The movie's called Boogity Bones, and I would definitely go see this movie. They see a shadow, and they're like, oh my gosh, we're so scared. Shaggy screams, but it is just audio of a monkey, which I don't really get. What? <laughs> but it's kind of funny. Anyway, he jumps in the coat. Over. But it ends up just being Shaggy's family. Like, come out, son. We don't have time for hide and seek now. You dig? We're already late for the policeman's ball, so quit goofing around, Norville. Shaggy's name is Norville? <laughs> Loser! <laughs> Loser! <laughs> uh, but he's like, Mom, don't fucking call me that. His mom disregards Shaggy's feelings. Norville, could you be like a deer and drop Shuggy off at the new babysitters? Here's the address. Shags and Scoobs <laughs> take off and run into the gang at the movie theater and they're like, hey, since the movie's not starting for 22 minutes, would you like to come help us drop off Shuggy? They're like, yeah. Scooby decides to hang around and begin to mock the Boogity Bones character that's sitting outside and then goes back to the gang and Boogity Bones wakes up. So it's clearly a person underneath there. Why the fuck were they just hanging out in front of this theater dressed as Boogity Bones? Anyway. I'm here to drop off Shuggy Rogers. I'll be right there. Make yourself at home. Shaggy starts to take stuff out of this bag like a teddy bear, a fucking refrigerator, but Shuggy, which I am now just realizing is a play on Shaggy, she gets upset because she doesn't want Shaggy to leave. Hi kids, I'm the babysitter. What? Ah! No, she looks terrifying. Please do not leave Shuggy with her, Shaggy, please. Give me that child. What? She's just immediately evil? Give me that baby! The gang ends up running back inside the babysitter's house, locking the door with a hilariously oversized lock, but they've only gone back because Shuggy was a fucking moron and dropped her teddy bear bun bun. What a drag. We can't leave Shuggy with that she monster. Uh-oh, Boogity Bones is already in the house somehow and decides to talk one word from each head they scurry off and put a boulder in front of the basement door shags and scoobs try to inform the yellers that there is a monster in the basement and do not go down there but guess what they go down there there's absolutely nothing to be afraid of Daphne screams but only because she loses a button you little... Only one person could have done this! Red Herring! This is Red Herring! Aha! Uh -huh. Calling to confess, huh? They cut to Fred calling some guy named Red Herring, which is funny. I'm getting kind of tired of all these, like, actual jokes, though. Shuggy walks over the grave, and Boogity Bones is still just down there chilling. Like, did he forget that he was there to scare everybody? Boogity Bones remembers he's a monster and is like, oh no, I gotta ch chase him. And then they get upstairs in time, they close the door, put stuff in front of the door again. Shaggy says that it all started when they turned on the TV. And the news reporter says, We interrupt Shaggy to bring you a Coolsville news bulletin. Very funny stuff. The news reporter says, A convict has escaped prison. And then and the prisoner the jumps out of the picture. Me. Good stuff. Okay, the suspect kidnaps puppies. Maybe he's the one that's in the Boogity Bones costume. And they used to live in this house. This house? <laughs> Velma brings out a computer from her briefcase and starts to reshape the image of Molly to show what, by golly, 
looks to be the babysitter. I say we call my dad. This is a job for the police. Yeah. Too late, someone snips to half that phone line, and Manny shows up immediately as if the prison is right next door to this house. And the babysitter's there too. Wait, what about the guy in the basement? Okay, I guess he's still down there, and everyone's pounding on the doors, and it's fucking annoying. I want my loot! I want that baby! I want Velma prints off a plan that has Fred saying, hmm. Hmm, may I borrow that please? My diamond barrette? Diamond? I guess Daphne's a little Richie Rachel in this series. Who would've thunk it? No matter what happens, rain or sleet or snow, we cannot let that crook into this house. Who is it? Don't do it, Fred. Pizza delivery. Don't do it. All right, I'm starved. Come on in. I wish I could tell you I was wrong and that it was a pizza delivery that they didn't order, but no. <laughs> Turns out the trap works, smashes that fucking criminal to the goddamn moon. <laughs> but he lands. <laughs> He isn't giving up that easily though. He shows up at the window. I want my loot and I want it now! Get back here! At the end of this long four minute montage, Shaggy just busts out some yarn, wraps up Manny and the monster, and the babysitter is just the babysitter, and the monster is Molly. Not exactly. Molly heard Manny escaped so she tried to steal the money before he could get here. You double-crossing thief! Oh, it all makes sense. Molly's just a huge bitch. <laughs> Scooby uses his nostrils, sniffs around, finds the loot. Although the show's very funny, I cannot stand a four-minute montage ever in anything. Also, I kind of just prefer the old style of Scooby-Doo. And I think that might be just because that's what I'm used to. But this show is very good. Uh, just, just not my preference. And it didn't seem like it was the viewer's preference either. After three years and only 27 episodes, it was canceled. This has been Recap. See you next time. <laughs> I was just thinking about a previous take where I said, See ya! And it was stupid as fuck, so... Bye. Scooby Dooby Doo.